Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen. Before we get to the recipe, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to get notifications for upcoming videos. I do post every week, so you don't want to miss out on anything that I've got coming up. Also, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up on and on any others that you happen to watch of mine. I would really appreciate it. Now tonight I'm going to be making a heavenly chicken. This is just basically a baked chicken that you're going to put some spices on and we're going to make it really delicious. Now you're going to want to go ahead and preheat your oven to 425 degrees and you're going to want to prepare a jelly roll pan like I've done and I put parchment paper on and I sprayed it. We don't want our chicken to stick to anything. Now you can use a casserole. Just make sure you spray it really well before you put your chicken in it. Now we're going to I have some breasts that I've cut in half because they were large and you don't want them really thick that way they'll bake through and through. You can also use thighs in this, we just prefer the breasts. Um, it's just going to have salt and pepper and then some garlic powder. We've got some melted butter that we're going to put on before we put them in the oven and you've got sour cream and then I've got a sleeve of the buttery round crackers that you want to crush up and have them ready to go. So, all you're going to do is you're going to salt and pepper each piece of your chicken quite well. There's not a lot of seasoning on here, so you're going to make sure you get enough salt and pepper and the garlic powder. And then you're going to want to do the same thing on both sides of the chicken. And then we're going to take some sour cream. You just want to dollop it on your chicken. If you have a brush, you can brush it. If you don't, you can use your spatula, but you just want to make sure you coat the breast on both sides. All right, let's flip it over and we're going to dollop on this side. So you want to make sure that it has a nice coating for these crackers to stick to the chicken. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to dredge it in the crackers on both sides. And then you're just going to lay this on your prepared cookie sheet or your casserole dish, whatever you have. And we're going to continue on. All right, salt and pepper garlic, sour cream, and then our crackers. This will be a delicious meal that you can make for your family. And depending, you know, of course, how large of your family you have is going to be dependent on how many breasts you're going to want to cook and how much, you know, sour cream you're going to need and how much crackers you're going to need. This is just a sleeve but you may want to have some, you know, on standby in case you need to use another sleeve of crackers because you don't want to run out. All right. Well, I'm going to continue on um, and finish coating the rest of my breasts. Go ahead and put this in the crackers. And then before I actually put these in the oven, I'm going to drizzle this melted butter. I just put some in a little glass container and I heated the butter up in my microwave. So it's melted and I'm going to pour this over the top of this chicken and then we're going to put it in the oven and you're going to bake this between 45 and 50 minutes. And then when we come back, I'm going to show you how it looks. Hey y'all, as you can see, we've got our chicken out of the oven. I did check it around the 30 to 35 minute mark and I did take a knife and cut into one of the pieces just you know, to make sure it was cooked through. And I did cook it for about five or 10 more minutes. Depending on how thick your chicken is, you might want to check it. That way you make sure it gets done the whole way through. But this is what we're having for our dinner this evening. I hope that y'all will try this recipe and enjoy it as much as we will. And I hope that y'all will subscribe to my channel and click on the bell for notifications for upcoming videos. And give me a thumbs up on this and any other videos. Y'all have a wonderful evening and thank y'all so much for watching.